guys, so today I'm here with you as promised with my YSL lipstick collection video. Um, this one was greatly requested on Instagram and on my Twitter and in a few videos. Um, so here are all my YSL lipsticks. I mainly have Rouge Volupt lipsticks, which I fell in love with about three years, maybe four years ago, when I saw Lorraine from The Current Custom. She was always raving about number seven, Lingerie Pink. So that was the first one that I ended up purchasing for myself, but of course the color didn't work for me. I did love the texture and I love the luxurious packaging of these, so since then I have amassed a collection because I cannot stop buying them. They each retail for $39 in Canada. In the US I think it's $34. So I'm going to show you all the ones that I have and I'm also going to swatch them for you. Quick shout out to my lips, they're going to be like RIP after this because I'm going to swatch all of them on my lips. I'm going to put them on full force on my lips so you can see what they look like, but some of these I would probably wear with a gloss or kind of blot it on but I'm gonna give you full color so it can help you guys if you can only order online. But first of all we have shade number one which is nude beige and this is a neutral nude pink rose color. Very gorgeous. Love it with a smoky eye. Um, I like that even though it's pale it works really nicely on tan skins too so I think a variety of skin tones can wear this one. I have number two, Sensual Silk, which is just a true beige nude. This one doesn't have any pink in it. It is just a straight up beige nude, which can kind of look concealer lips if you don't like that super fleshy look that it gives you. But this is one of my favorite nudes for if I want to do a really, really super dark smoky eye, um, like probably blacks and grays, those kind of colors, because it really just mutes out the color of your lips so nicely. I just love this one. I have number three, which is Ultimate Beige, and this one um, is a mauve beige color, I would say. Basically, um, I have pigmented berry-toned lips, and this one um, on my lips is basically a My Lips But Better shade. It deepens them, it just makes them have a little more life. They just look juicier and more plump. Um, I would say this also has taupey brown undertones as well. Um, definitely a darker nude. This one looks great with a tan, but it's also nice to wear a nude like this in the winter. Um, when you don't want to have that super washed out look, you want your lips to kind of um, have something a little better to them. I like this one. I have my newest one here, number 12, Forbidden Burgundy, and this is a deep plum burgundy color. It is the one on my lips right now. This one definitely is the most satin formula out of all the YSL Vouge Full Ups I own, which is great just because the shade is so dark um, and vampy. If it went on as creamy and buttery as the rest of them, it would be everywhere. Um, I still like to apply this one with a lip brush, and I'm also wearing it with a liner today, a lip liner, just to prevent bleeding. It's not too vampy as you can see, but it is a gorgeous just plum berry shade and it's just perfect for the fall. It's the kind of color that we all love to wear right now and it makes your teeth look really white which is a bonus. I have number 13 Peach Passion and this one is a vibrant pinky peach. It has equal parts pink and equal parts peach in it. I love to wear a coral on my lips and this is one of my favorite coral shades to wear in the summer just because it is quite bright. It's definitely not nude at all. It's more along the lines of something like Max Betty Bright lipstick. If you're just kind of getting into peach lips or colored lips, I would go with this one because although it is kind of bright and a definite nice vibrant color, it still um, would look amazing on a variety of skin tones. I have number 15 which is Extreme Coral and this one is a bright coral red color. It's a very orange based red. This is the only orange based red in my entire lipstick collection because I don't usually tend to think those colors look great on me but in the summer it is really nice to wear a nice orange red or in the holiday season just because it really does brighten up your face and it looks very very good um, with an olive skin tone or a tan skin tone but I guess it's slightly out of my comfort zone. Texture on this one however even though it's a deeper color is more of that buttery slippery texture so again probably best to apply this one with a lip brush which I didn't do in the swatch I put it on messily but um, it definitely has a lot of slip to it so you got to be careful with this one but it is a very pretty color. This one here is a Rouge Volupt Shine in number 15, a soft coral. I just forgot to film a video clip for it. I have number 19 which is Frivolous Pink and this one is a blue based Barbie pink, kind of another Pepto-Bismol color. Um, it's kind of similar to lingerie pink which I don't have anymore but the difference with this one is it's a true pink. It has more blue undertones and purpley undertones whereas lingerie pink had white undertones so I can get away with this one. But this one if you want to have those Barbie pink lips or just a pink lip which I don't do very often, this is a really nice one and it's pretty universal. I have number 20. 26, which is Tender Peach, and this is one of my favorite 
food for lovers of all time. It definitely is a peachy color. It's a soft, smoky peach, I would say, but it kind of leans more nude because it has beige tones. It's not a very bright coral or nude. It doesn't have much pinky tones to it. It's a true peach. It's just very muted and very pretty. Um, a dupe for this one, though, a cheaper dupe, is Victoria's Secret Scrumptious Lipstick. That one looks pretty much the same on your lips. Another one of my favorites is number 29, Opera Rose. And this one is a vibrant, neutral rose pink. I love this one. In the summer, this is one of my favorites because this one has a complete neutral undertone. It's not blue base. It's not too yellow base. So it's not too dramatic. It's also a medium tone pink. It's not your traditional bright pink lipstick, which I don't usually like to wear. So this really amps up my complexion beautifully, just enough, but it's not like whoa, do a double take, she's wearing something super bright on her lips. Also my last one I have to show you is number 30 and this one is um, a discontinued one I believe and it's in the shade Fabogue Peach. This one is a very creamsicle light peach color. It's very light and very pastel. If you're too deep toned, this one's gonna look have that chalky appearance. This one you can get on eBay and things like that and all cosmetics wholesale, I've seen it for sale there even though it's discontinued. I also wanted to include this one because it is another one YSL lipstick I have. This one is a Rouge Pure Couture, so it's a slightly different formula. Um, I would say it is just as pigmented as a YSL Rouge Voluptu, but it isn't such of a buttery, slippery texture, so this one will last a little bit longer on your lips. This one is in the shade number six, Rose Bergamask, and it's basically a nude pink color. I love to wear this one anytime I want a nude that isn't too concealer lips because it does have very pinky, very fleshy tones, so it's a really, really gorgeous color and easy to wear. And then also I have have three of these YSL Pure Couture glossy stains. Um, I do not really like these, but these are the only three that I have. They kind of apply like a wet feeling to your lips and then go tacky and sticky, so they just don't feel that great on your lips. But I have them in three colors. I have it in number 12, which is a bright coral red. This one would be my favorite. Um, you do have to layer it to get the intense color that it shows in the tube, but when it goes on, it is a nice color. It's similar to the Extreme Coral Rouge Voluptu, which I prefer the formula of that one. I also have it in number 15, which is a bright pink. This pink is not super hot pink. It's not super blue based either. If I was to compare it to a shade, I would compare it to the YSL Rouge Voluptu in number 29, Opera Rose, but that one is more opaque and more creamy color. This one is still has definitely more of a gloss and is a slightly sheer version of that color. And lastly, I have it in number 19, which is a light pinky nude color. And this one I got, I had decided I already didn't like these glossy stains. And I got this one because I saw Lily Galici on her blog. She wrote about wearing it in a lip combination and it looked gorgeous on her. So like a crazy person, I bought it. This one takes about three layers to really cover the pigmentation of my lips. And it's just your standard milky pink color. Um, I don't really wear it that much, but it is a nice color, I guess. That is the end of my Yves Saint Laurent lipstick collection. Most of them, as you guys saw, are Rouge Voluptu, and I definitely recommend those ones. I also really recommend the Rouge Pure Couture, even though I only have one. Not so much the glossy stains, though. They're just not my thing. But I hope this video was helpful to see how they look on my lips and also how they look on someone who's a slightly deeper skin tone. So if any of you guys have a similar skin tone to me, it will be a reference point for you if you can only order online or something so you don't waste money because they are pretty expensive. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.